The Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels pose the greatest criminal drug threat the United States has ever faced. These ruthless, violent criminal organizations have associates, facilitators, and brokers in all 50 states, as well as in more than 40 countries around the world. And they're, they're almost like narco states, uh, quasi-terrorist organizations, dare we say, rather than just uh, drug traffickers. The DEA officer was talking about how the cartel is recruiting Americans here in the United States to help them to traffic illegal drugs and also to help people come into the country. Human smuggling, News Nation's Allie Bradley uh, joins us. Hi, Allie. Yeah, hi, Leland. We're seeing that human smuggling just ramping up all across our southern border. And it's in part because of the Biden administration's policies where they have made it so certain groups aren't able to just cross over and self-surrender like they were doing. So now they're getting involved in being smuggled. And the people doing it are U.S. citizens, as you mentioned. And they're being recruited through social media and through word of mouth. People they know, their friends, are bringing them into this criminal activity. We went on an exclusive ride along and saw how this whole rather sinister plot plays out. Take a look. So I would have paid my rent and gotten my car fixed. Call it desperate times, a means to an end, a highly illegal means ending in handcuffs for this U.S. citizen. Facing up to 12 and a half years in jail for class two felony charges. They told me to download an app called Telegram, I think it was. A simple response to a social media posting. From there, it's as easy as a pin drop. They sent me a pin to Sierra Vista. The pickup is made and the evasion begins. U.S. citizens acting as smugglers circumventing the recently reopened checkpoints in Arizona with the promise of being paid between $500 and $1,000 per head when they get to their destination. I don't know if it's like digital or like cash. Like other smugglers, this driver from Tucson. I feel like I've ruined my life. Says he learned about daily work for easy money in an Instagram post. I was recently... Uh, let go from my job at Amazon and I had no way to pay for a daycare or any bills. He says he communicated with his quote boss for three days on WhatsApp. He said that it's just a, a transportation job from point A to point B. Um, told me where where to go. Picking them up outside of what he says was a stash house. His case was turned over to Border Patrol, who will decide whether to press federal charges. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office nabbing 1,578 people for state border-related crimes like smuggling last year. 1,500 of them were U.S. citizens carrying out the illegal activity, even some younger than legal driving age. To see the cartels backfeeding crime to these kids, come down here, we'll give you $3,000, come to Cochise County per person. That seems so simple, seems so innocent when it's international crime. What would you tell someone who's considering doing this, who finds this ad that you found and thinks this is a good idea? Just don't do it and stay straight. So now, Leland, I did ask him to show me exactly what page he found this on. He told me it was on Daily Work on Instagram, spelled D-A-L-Y. When we went and looked for it, he said that they actually delete the posts really regularly and delete those pages, so that there's not really a paper trail. And what they do is they respond to these posts. The, the person on the other side, the coyote, the cartel member, will go, hey, message me on WhatsApp. And that's encrypted. So they're able to go over there and talk off the books and be able to do all their bidding uh, without any paper trail. Look, old rule in journalism, Ali, you know it very well. Uh, there's a few things you never get caught on your first time, drunk driving, cheating on your wife. Probably also you could add smuggling uh, to that list. Uh, any idea from the sheriff how many uh, of these people they think get through and, and keep coming back for more money? You know what's really, really sad about all of this, Leland, is it's way more than what we would even like to admit or even try to wrap our heads around, and this is why. A lot of these people, when they get arrested for this, they have a waiting period before their hearing, so they actually see repeat offenders during that waiting period. They haven't been charged, right? They haven't had any major ramifications. They're waiting for that. So in the interim, hey, why not go make another $1,000 or try to make you know, a couple grand? And that's what's happening. They're seeing the same people doing this and they often will see them come in and they'll you know catch them before they pick up a load and then they'll say we guarantee we'll see them again next week they wow. they're prepared for that they know this is happening and again i mean yeah, you're well, you, seeing one they had a 13 year old in jail yeah and you point out rightly and 
that these are people who are down on their luck. They're Americans, and they, they see an, an option for easy cash, and, and, they, and they go for it. A huge, huge amounts of money involved in this. Allie, thank you. Keep following the money for us. Uh, thank also, thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.